For years, lithium-ion reigned supreme in the world of electric cars, like a king everyone respects but no longer excites anyone. It's everywhere, in cell phones, laptops, and over 90% of electric vehicles on the planet. But the truth is, this technology has aged. Its energy density remains stuck at around 250 Dolitzwerpung, as if time had frozen its potential. The promise of cars with long range and fast charging ended up being a dream postponed. And worst of all, it still carries the constant risk of fires, which leaves many people wary. Just talk to anyone considering buying an electric car to realize the same dilemma. Either the range is low, the charging time is long, or the price is prohibitive. And when we combine all this with the fear of explosions and the videos of cars catching fire circulating everywhere, there's no denying that confidence in lithium-ion is wavering. Innovation has stalled, as if the industry had stopped in time. Even with specific improvements, there hasn't been a real leap forward in recent years. And this, for a technology that depends on scale and reliability, is like driving with the handbrake on. The problem is that while the world is changing at an accelerated pace, lithium-ion seems to be going in circles. Battery prices aren't falling as expected, and efficiency gains are barely noticeable. Instead of enthusiasm, what we're seeing is fatigue. The entire industry, from automakers to consumers, is beginning to wonder if this is really the right path. Is it still worth pursuing a technology that has already given everything it had to offer? And here comes the most curious point. The greater the dominance of lithium-ion, the greater the resistance to abandoning it. The most intriguing thing is that, while lithium-ion is still the flagship, behind the scenes, other technologies are knocking on the door. Technologies that promise to double battery life, charge in minutes, and even eliminate the risk of explosions. But, like every revolution, they face suspicion. After all, how many times have we heard about the new miracle battery that never left the laboratory? The market has grown tired of empty promises, but now things are changing. Large companies are investing heavily. Prototypes are rolling out. Production lines are being set up. And the reason is clear. Lithium ions reign is slowly crumbling. It's not being violently overthrown, but rather intelligently replaced. Like that old monarch who realizes his time is up and needs to pass on the crown. The new generation of batteries is arriving with concrete numbers, real tests, and, most importantly, commercial viability. It's no longer a distant possibility, but a reality that's fast approaching. And those who don't adapt will be left behind. It's that simple. Of course, there's still respect for lithium-ion's trajectory. It enabled electric cars to get off the ground, helped popularize a new mindset, and fueled a revolution in mobility. But that doesn't mean it should be eternal. Every technology has a cycle, and that cycle seems to be coming to an end. The most important thing now is to recognize that we can no longer rely exclusively on it. And that's where curiosity comes in. What exactly is coming next? While lithium-ion is quietly saying goodbye, a new star is beginning to shine brightly on the horizon, the solid-state battery. It's no exaggeration to say that it represents a game-changer in the electric vehicle sector. Unlike the old laboratory promises, this new technology is already being tested in real prototypes by giant companies like Tesla, Toyota, Quantum Cape, and, especially, the bold BYD. And it's BYD itself that's stealing the show. It didn't just promise a revolutionary battery, it delivered one. BYD's new solid-state battery is so bold, it sounds like science fiction. Up to 900 miles of range on a single charge and a full recharge in four minutes. That's right, four minutes. Enough time for a coffee, a breather, and voila, you're back on the road. And this feat hasn't just remained on paper. The company has already started a pilot production line to put these batteries in cars that will roll out of factories in the coming months. The question now is, how will Elon Musk react? 
The most interesting thing is that this race for energy supremacy is no longer limited to paper or prototypes hidden away in research centers. BYD, with its quiet but consistent steps, seems to have taken the lead. And the irony? The same Tesla that dominates the headlines now finds itself on the defensive, watching its Chinese rival hog the spotlight. Some say Elon Musk was surprised by BYD's speed, and you can't blame him. This new moment completely changes the game. For the first time, a competitor is delivering something concrete, functional, and applicable in the short term. It's not a promise for 2040. It's a production line running now. And the most curious thing about all this is the contrast. While many are still adjusting promises and designing prototypes, BYD simply went out and did it. This shows that sometimes innovation doesn't come with fireworks, but with consistency and strategy. It's impossible not to notice the giant's movements. Toyota, for example, has already announced that it plans to integrate solid-state batteries into Lexus models by 2027. Quantum Cape, with its Cobra project, is refining every detail of large-scale production. And Solid Power has been working with BMW on cells that have already undergone a thousand charge cycles without noticeable degradation. It's all happening simultaneously, as if the entire industry has pressed the accelerate button. And here's an intriguing detail. All these companies, including Tesla, are investing heavily not only in performance, but also in the viability of mass production. There's no point in having a revolutionary battery if it costs a fortune or takes a month to produce. The difference now is that solid-state technology is moving beyond fantasy and into delivery schedules. BYD has already shown the way. Now others must race to catch up. If the new era has already begun, then it's time to understand what makes this technology so special. Solid-state batteries aren't just an update of the old. They're a complete reinvention. Starting with energy density. While traditional lithium-ion batteries hover around 250 watt-crons, new solid-state models already exceed 400 and, in some cases, approach 500 In practice, this means that, with the same space and weight, a car can travel twice as far. It's like replacing a 50-liter tank with a 100-liter tank without increasing the car's size. This detail alone would be enough to excite, but it doesn't stop there. One of the major advantages of these new batteries is their thermal stability. They can operate in temperatures ranging from 20 Tzadadikriksu to 100 Tzadadikriksu without loss of performance. This eliminates the risk of failure due to extreme heat or intense cold a problem that affects many current models, especially in regions with harsh climates. Furthermore, these batteries are virtually incombustible, as they abandon the flammable liquids of lithium-ion and adopt solid materials such as ceramics, sulfides, and polymers. This completely changes the safety game. The fear of explosions or fires, which still haunts many consumers, simply disappears with this new generation. There's no liquid to leak, no violent reactions in the event of a collision, and no dreaded chain reaction between cells. A car with a solid-state battery is, in fact, more reliable and durable. And this counts for a lot when purchasing. Insurance companies are already paying attention to this, too. What's more, these batteries can withstand many more charge cycles. While lithium-ion batteries begin to lose performance after 1,000 or 2,500 cycles, solid-state batteries hold up for up to 3,000 cycles, with over 80% of their original capacity. This means the car can be charged almost every day for eight years without showing significant signs of fatigue. In other words, the owner will trade in the car before the battery starts to fail. It's impressive durability. Lightness is also a bonus. Because the new cells are more compact and don't require complex cooling systems, the overall weight of the assembly drops. This improves the car's efficiency, reduces tire wear, improves handling, and even acceleration. It's one of those cascading improvements that affect the entire vehicle design. And when it comes to electric cars, every pound counts. 
Reducing weight means increasing performance, and automakers know this. Another point that delights engineers and consumers alike is the recharge time. Remember that 30-minute wait to reach 80% battery? Forget it. With new technology, this time can drop to 10 or even 5 minutes, depending on the car's architecture and charging station. This puts electric vehicles on par with combustion-powered cars in terms of convenience. And let's face it, this has always been the biggest psychological hurdle for the average consumer. With all these advances, the burning question is, when will we see these batteries on the streets? The answer may be closer than we think. The global race for mass commercialization of solid-state batteries has already begun and is accelerating every month. Companies like Quantum Cape, Solid Power, Toyota, and even Tesla itself are engaged in a veritable technological marathon. And the most fascinating thing is that this race isn't taking place in secret laboratories, but in real factories, with schedules that point to semi-commercial launches between 2026 and 2028. It's no longer a question of if these batteries will arrive, but of when and who will deliver first. CT, the focus now is on ultra-thin ceramic separators, key components for enabling ionic conduction without compromising safety. And that's where engineering shines. Producing these separators with the ideal thickness, mechanical strength, and viable cost has become an obsession for the biggest names in the industry. The challenges are enormous, but the progress is also encouraging. Every quarter brings news of new milestones achieved, and that's no small feat. Quantum Cape, for example, has already managed to reduce the thickness of separators with a technique 25 times more efficient than the previous one. This means that large-scale production, something that seemed unfeasible just a few years ago, is now just steps away from becoming a reality. They've also established strategic partnerships with giants like Volkswagen, targeting commercialization between 2026 and 2028. You can already see the first premium models leaving dealerships with these futuristic batteries under the hood. Another example is Solid Power, which has excelled in the development of sulfide electrolytes. Their room temperature tests have already demonstrated near-ideal ionic conductivity, with durability validated in prototypes such as the BMW iDX. These aren't just promises, they're concrete results. And while this is happening, other companies are firmly on the same path. Toyota is developing an oxide-based solution, focusing on thermal stability. They plan to integrate this technology into Lexus vehicles as early as 2027. While these companies advance in technical development, others are focusing their efforts on industrial production. Parasis Energy, for example, launched a pilot line of sulfide batteries in Germany with a capacity of 0.2 GWh. The goal? To reach 1 GWh per year by 2026. This means that, even if the beginning is modest, the production curve is projected to grow exponentially. And like all cutting-edge technology, the first cars to receive these batteries will be premium or industrial models, where the cost is absorbed by the added value. This is where Huawei steps in with its own version, a sulfide polymer hybrid battery with an impressive 450 Edwadi watch Kui density and promises over 2,000 kilometers of range. And the most surreal thing? An 80% charge in just 10 minutes. Of course, all of this still needs to pass the test of continuous use and the demanding tests of the automotive industry, but the mere fact that we're talking about it seriously already shows how the market has changed. What was once a distant future is now a boardroom topic. Despite all the enthusiasm, the truth is that the path to the popularization of solid-state batteries is far from smooth. One of the biggest bottlenecks remains the production of the infamous ceramic separators. They are extremely thin, fragile, and extremely difficult to manufacture at scale. A single microcrack or imperfection is enough to compromise the entire cell. And when you're talking about millions of units produced per year, any small flaw becomes a logistical and financial nightmare. 
It's one of those invisible details that can delay an entire revolution. Another serious and less discussed problem is low temperature performance. Many sulfide-based solid electrolytes, considered the most promising due to their ionic conductivity, simply lose efficiency when exposed to sub-zero temperatures. This means markets like Canada, Germany, and parts of the United States could face severe limitations if this issue isn't addressed. And in an industry that wants to dominate the planet, leaving cold regions out is not an option. The challenge, therefore, is to create hybrid solutions or new chemical formulations that maintain performance even in cold weather. Some companies are already testing combinations with oxides or polymers that better withstand the weather, but these versions still don't achieve the same efficiency as sulfides at room temperature. It's a true balancing act, improving one without compromising another. And finding that balance is precisely what separates pioneers from frustrated visionaries. Beyond the technical aspect, there's also the issue of scaled production. Pilot lines are operating, but with high defect rates and unstable yields. This means that, for now, the cost per cell is still too high for mainstream applications. Even experienced companies are struggling to stabilize variables such as separator thickness, material moisture, and deposition uniformity. All of this needs to be resolved before the magic can happen in everyday cars. Another hurdle is lifespan under real-world conditions. In labs, charging cycles are controlled, temperatures are ideal, and tests are closely monitored. But what about the real world? With potholes, sudden temperature changes, and drivers who aren't always careful, the battery needs to withstand the rigors. And there's still not enough data to prove that current prototypes can withstand years of heavy use with the same performance promised in the charts. Material resistance is also a concern. Some compounds used in the most advanced versions, such as lithium oxides with zirconium and lanthanum, perform well but are expensive and difficult to handle. Others, such as sulfides, require ultra-dry production environments and react poorly with humidity. This increases costs and complicates the manufacturing process. In other words, we're still at a stage where materials engineering goes hand in hand with innovation, and any setback could delay the overall schedule. While some companies are still trying to overcome technical challenges, others are already using these obstacles as an opportunity to redefine their strategies. A prime example of this is BYD itself. Instead of chasing the most extreme energy density records, as many competitors are doing, the Chinese brand has opted for a more pragmatic path. With its new solid-state cell reaching 400 Wattu, a figure that doesn't break records but is fully functional and reliable, BYD shows that the secret isn't just in the numbers, but in the ability to put those numbers on the road. And this strategy has been successful. BYD's new solid-state battery practically doubles the energy density of the blade battery which was already well-respected in the market. With it, an 80 kilowatt BYD seal can achieve up to 900 miles of range. And if the same car uses a more compact 60 kilowatt pack, it can still travel up to 620 miles on a single charge. For the average consumer, this is more than enough. It's such a leap that it completely changes the way people think about electric cars. After all, who needs 900 miles in a single day? Most impressively, all of this is being done with an engineering approach that prioritizes scalability. BYD understood that batteries need to be mass-produced with a low defect rate, or they're useless. That's why its pilot line is already operating with a focus on yield, repeatability, and process simplicity. And it's no surprise that other companies are beginning to copy this more realistic model. The rush to reach the top 